4. If x squared equals y squared, then x equals y, okay? Now, this is kind of like a subtle sort of proof, okay? You've got to understand, obviously, the sort of what happens when you square numbers, okay, to really get to grips with this proof, okay? Um, now, there's lots of situations where um, this would actually be true, okay? So, for instance, if x squared is equal to y squared, okay, um, so you could have 25 equals to 25, then x equals y, then x could be 5 and y could be 5. Well, that's true, isn't it? Okay, that, 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 that's fine. However, okay, you've got to appreciate with square numbers, okay, if you square a negative number, it becomes positive, doesn't it? So we can have a situation where this is actually false, okay? And all you've got to do is consider x and y values so that one of them is positive, one of them is negative. So say, for instance, now you set x to equal uh, 5, okay? But y to equal to minus 5, okay? Well, in this case, x squared would equal to, um, obviously, square that is 25. y squared... If you square that, remember when you square a negative, it becomes positive because minus 5 times minus 5 is positive 25, okay? So in this case, x squared is equal to y squared, okay? However, x is not equal to y, isn't it, okay? because x is 5 and y is minus 5, they're not equal, okay? So this sort of logical statement here then becomes false. It's saying, isn't it, if x squared is equal to y squared, then x has got to equal y. We found a situation where x squared is equal to y squared, but x doesn't actually equal to y, okay? So by proof by counted example, okay, the statement is actually false, okay? It's important to put this at the end here to sort of conclude, to say, well, actually, you know, because it's good you, you might have done this here, but you need to actually have a finishing statement there to say, actually, the statement is false. It's not true because we found a counterexample where it actually breaks down, okay? And there's lots of counterexamples in this particular case, of course, infinite amount.